Hello friends, welcome to our latest update uh, news video. Uh, it's good to be in contact again after a holiday period. We're on Sundays looking at uh, a sermon series called uh, Stories of Faith. And one of the things that strikes me about all the people we've been looking at is the importance of making good choices. Last Sunday we were looking at the person of Ruth who made a massive choice, a life-changing choice to follow Naomi and commit to her God and let God uh, work things out. This coming Sunday we'll be looking at the person of Esther who uh, was raised to a position of prominence as queen and made a, a choice that affected her whole people. So sometimes uh, in stories of faith the choices we make are extremely important and significant ones but of course underlying all those choices are the daily choices we make, daily choices to follow God and that, that may mean uh, that, that at every, you know, sort of some seemingly trivial things, as long as we make those choices in God's presence, big things can come out of them. In other words, uh, small choices influence big ones. We orientate ourselves according to the choices we make. And then it becomes a story. And we've been looking at stories in faith in Scripture, but of course our life is a story. And this period that we've been going through, the coronavirus period uh, over the last few months, uh, will no doubt be a story that we will retell for years to come an unusual season. The big question is, is it a story of faith? Is it a story in which we make the choices that are the choices of faith? Big choices and small choices. Um, we owe it to each other and ourselves to engage in this period, engage with God in prayer, that our leaders will make wise choices. And I'm not talking about myself <laughs> only, of course you can pray for me, but I'm talking about the leaders of our nations. Um, the leaders of those uh, organizations uh, that are committed to serving the poor. The leaders of those who are in, uh, all those who are involved in leadership in some way in their professional environment, making wise choices. But we as a church want to make wise choices too. And we uh, want to, I want to encourage you to engage, to make a choice to engage at this time to pray for our church as we step into another chapter. Yes, it is another chapter. Because at the beginning of September, in a couple of weeks' time, we will be welcoming people back into this building for congregational worship again. Sunday the 6th of September will be the first Sunday where we can welcome people in and this, uh, this building will throb again with the worship of God's people. Now, of course, there are restrictions and we have to choose to respect them. Social distancing, we'll need to wear face masks. We'll be able to engage in sung worship, but not sing ourselves as a congregation. We'll be led by the band, but we need to sing in our hearts, not sing um, with our mouths. But it, those are choices we make which uh, are, are in view of a bigger thing, which is stepping into what God has for us. Now, one choice we can make at the moment and now is whether or not we're able to come and join in with that. Now, some of you will not be able to do that for, for, for different reasons, hygiene reasons, for health reasons, for distance reasons. Please choose to pray with us. And of course the service will be live streamed as normal. And so you can engage just as much online. But some of us can choose to be here um, and to, to gather with God's people. Well, could you choose please in that case, if you'd like to come, to register online. Go to our website or click on the link below this video and register. But you can also choose to help us. We need to welcome people in in the right way. We need to help people check in, guide people to their places. Um, we need help for that, practical help. So as you uh, sign in and register, you'll also see that there's an option for you to help practically and to volunteer your services. You're not committing your life away, you're just offering on that one occasion to help and then perhaps on other occasions you'll be able to volunteer as well. For the moment we're talking about the first Sunday. Let's register online if we can come and let's offer to help. Those are some choices we can make. But whether or not we can come, on that particular occasion, we can all choose to engage with God today and make today part of the story of faith that we will recount in years to come, the story of what God has been doing in and through us in this season. So be blessed as you choose today.